Hello everybody and welcome to the 8th Let's Chat, my vlog type series that I do every Monday around lunchtime if you're in the UK. And thank you for all the positive support after my last one covering the uncomfortable subject of begging and guilt tripping etc. I am very glad that it's clearly the minority or even just one person who thinks I was trying to be mis mis mishonest, I was going to say they're dishonest or mistrustful. I think that's, those are the two words I confuse. Possibly, I don't know. So what are we going to talk about today? I have a few miscellaneous things, I guess. Nothing in particular. I have asked on Twitter, you know, throw out some ideas for stuff to talk about or questions and I'll answer them. So far the only input I've had is from CR who said bum hats. So I'm not sure if that's going to lead to anything. But if you hear my phone going off in the background, that'll be Twitter messages. So we might have specific things to talk about by the time we get to the end. As far as stuff I wanted to cover, well I'm recording this on Saturday the 18th and later tonight we're going to be doing our second get together, um, cooperative Monster Hunter is the topic of today's Steam Group Night, whatever, I, I really need to think up a better name for those things because I'm all over the place with what to refer to them as, but either way, we're doing Monster Hunter themed again tonight for this, this is the second time. This will probably go up after, no actually, no this will probably go up before any of those videos do, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot of fun. And on that subject as well, I've, I've been talking with the Capcom community manager who, or one of many, I don't know if he's one of many or just the guy who runs their official Facebook page and we're going to be doing some kind of collaboration. Not quite sure what format it's going to take yet, it may not even appear on my channel, it may appear on the official Monster Hunter one, but either way I'm very excited for it and I'm very glad to have an excuse to do some more stuff in the game. I've been getting a bit antsy wanting to play it more often, that for, I'm just back into it now that high rank is getting a little bit challenging. So I'm looking for excuses but at the same time I've been recording so much of it I'm getting a bit of a backlog along with that and other stuff I'm doing. So I'm getting screwed over by the, the one video a day limit. Oh that reminds me, another thing I want to talk about, as we're approaching the end of the month you'll remember I said just as December was finishing there that I was planning on doing a lot of coverage of Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z when it's out. It's out next Friday for us and I think America actually gets it later by a week for which is rare, really rare. Uh, either way, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of videos of that but do not think that it's going to interrupt any other things I'm doing and I'm well aware that not everybody is an anime fan. Um, for example if I record just some random fights for gameplay say and fights could probably be between two and four minutes each. That's not going to count as my one video a day I swear. I, I, if videos are that short I'll be putting up a bunch but I think what I'm, my plan is to do like alternating days. I, I, kind of like what I'm doing now with Spelunky and Monster Hunter but it would be maybe a day of a bunch of fights from Dragon Ball or, or one part of the story mode from Dragon Ball. Then the next day it will be another series because I like mixing things up. It might be a Monster Hunter video, it might be a Spelunky it might be a let's look at. I've actually got a bit of a backlog of those to go through as well, unfortunately. Well, I, I, I don't mean unfortunately in a bad way, I just mean, you know, it's being stuck uploading one 20 minute plus video a day is such a pain in the arse, honestly. But either way, I, I just wanted to make sure those of you who, are, who either aren't into anime or just not into DBZ specifically and even won't find any enjoyment out of videos of it if it's me talking on them, uh, don't worry, that's, I'm not suddenly going to become 100% Dragon Ball, that's for damn sure. I, I prefer to try and stay varied even if it's to my detriment. So that's just a warning. I, I don't even know 100% if I am covering it yet. I am, I've been in touch with Namco Bandai's PR people. I'm on their mailing list and I've been getting you know news shots about it and whatnot, but I still don't know if I've confirmed getting a review copy. Even if I don't get a review copy, I could still get written permission to do monetized videos. I don't know. It's basically it's up in the air at this point. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to cover on the other subject of posting videos. In an effort to try and justify more reward for people who are willing to become my patrons on Patreon, I have started doing a video just for patrons. And that will be another Twitter message. I'll check when I'm almost done, so it'll be surprise to me and you what the hell that is. So yeah, as I was saying, every Saturday, and one is, only one is up at the point of me recording this, I did today's Saturday the 18th. They're usually going to go live at the, the time the Steam Group nights start, so that's 7pm UK time. There are 5-10 to 10 minute videos, they're, they're just small little extra chunks, the the URL to them, they're, they're unlisted or private, whatever the term is on YouTube, will be posted as a Patreon only post on my Patreon website. So I hope that that adds extra value to those of you who have supported me so far and will continue to do so as you know the months go by without detracting from anyone else who doesn't want to do that. Because that's the big problem, like, I, 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 um, you, you remember me mentioning that I was having trouble thinking 
up other rewards in case the ones that I have aren't valuable enough. The, the challenge is thinking up a reward that doesn't detract from people who aren't interested. So I can't do anything like, oh, I'll make an exclusive Monster Hunter video. That's not fair. That's, that's tacky and horrible and no, just no. I wouldn't do like part 25 of my Monster Hunter Let's Plays, a patron only video. No, never doing that. What I might ever do is say like a five minute video showing off a weapon of Monster Hunter. I don't consider that bad because it's not part of the main series. It's not a hunt to progress my my progression. That made no sense. It's not a hunt to further my progression. Uh, but, but for example, the one that's up today is just me doing a speed run on Spelunky. Because that can be done in under 10 minutes assuming I actually achieve it. And you're not missing the main series because the purpose of the main series is to get a hell win on camera. Which I would never ever, it's, it's physically impossible to do a hell win in 10 minutes as far as I'm aware. So I would never do that in a place where not everybody can see it. So I hope that I have found the middle balance here. The, the walking the line between offering something as a further reward to patrons but also not detracting. And the, the reason it's only 10 minutes is so that it doesn't interrupt my one video a day public video. That's That was my thinking behind that as well. That's a kind of the same reason why these are so short compared to what I usually do. Um, so I hope people agree that that's an acceptable thing to do. It's not always going to be Spelunky, as I said, it might just be... I'll, I'll just pick games at random sometimes, just do multiplayer matches of some stuff. I'm considering doing some chivalry. Uh, maybe Blade Symphony, I think maybe the first video of that will be up by the time this goes up. Or maybe this actually goes up first and the first Blade Symphony video goes up later today. If it does, then I apologise for spoiling that. But I think, no, I think it goes up on the Sunday, so it should be okay. The Furious Mouse Clicking Sword Fighting Simulator. I like it a lot. I'm surprised so few people are playing it. So I think that covers the, the things I wanted to get out of the way. If you disagree, feel free to share your comments in a constructive manner, please. In a polite, constructive manner, even if you disagree. Oh, and I, I meant to say, these Saturday patron exclusive videos, you, you just have to be at the minimum level of patronage. So that's one dollar and you know you can limit it to like when you make a post on patreon it's like do you want this to be public do you want it to be patrons do you want it to be patrons over this level this level this level so no i just did patrons so if you have donated uh, i don't know if calling it donating is right if you've become a patron at any level you will see the post if you just go to the website and i think if you press all content or whatever you'll find it and some people found it already actually because it's been commented on now you can't make a video fully private on YouTube if you get what I mean so you could technically share the URL of these private videos for patrons with your friends if you wanted. I don't know why you would want to do that because you're technically devaluing the thing of value I'm trying to give you but I'm just saying I can't stop you basically. So there we go. Um, I think that's all I wanted to cover really. I've got a very sore throat which just does not bode well for how much talking I'm going to be doing later tonight. Let me see what that other Twitter message was if I press on tweet deck. Uh, Bad Cat. Bad Cat? Well, he's called Richard, but Bad Cat said, Your thoughts on Steam Machines? Oh, all the various Steam Machines. Well, I think the controller for the Steam Machines looks weird. I don't like how the analog sticks are at all. I like having kind of substance under my, my fingers when I'm using analog sticks. I don't know if they perform well. I've never used one, but just the aesthetic look of the controller and how I think the analog pads function do not suit me at all. The boxes themselves... <laughs> I saw a big write-up of all the various types that people are doing and they're all super, super expensive. Like, why would you buy a Steam Machine for whatever price from whoever when you can get a PC that will perform better for less? I, I don't really get it. I don't understand the point of a Steam Machine. That's my honest answer. It's not supposed to take the place of a PC as I understand it. That's basically their whole marketing thing, right? They said this is not a replacement for a PC. It's a thing you can stick in front of your television. Isn't that called an X-Bone? Well, either way, it's it's a... Is it cheaper than an X-Bone? No, it's not. It's more expensive, depending on what stats you get for it. I, I don't understand why it's a thing, and I think if anybody other than Valve was trying to do this, they would be getting shit on by everybody. But because it's Valve and everybody loves everything Valve does, nope, they're, they're fine with it. It doesn't matter what price they are. It's not something I plan to get. If I was offered one to review it or review things on it, yeah, it might work. Because if it functions like a PC, right, with with your Steam catalog on it, and I was using my main and only PC for rendering, I would still have something I could potentially play stuff on. I don't think there's any possible way to put additional software on it, is there? So I couldn't like put recording software on it 
to gather footage, even if I had to save to an external hard drive. I mean, that would be really nice. Functionality in terms of movement and, and, and size and whatnot, that's the good points of those machines, what I've seen so far. Some of them are bloody ugly too, I might just point out. But there doesn't seem to be any consistency between the, the various brands of Steam Machine people are putting out, either in terms of their stats or, or, or design, and I, I don't, other than the controller, I guess. I just don't understand why they're a thing and why they're necessary. If you want to be a PC gamer, just PC game. I suppose if you want your PC games on a big living room TV, but you don't have your normal PC anywhere near it, that's the purpose of it. To you know, to use Steam Big Screen or whatever it's called. I never use Big Big something. But it's an awfully expensive way to do it, isn't it? I mean, couldn't you just do like a, a splitter on the back of your PC and a long? It would be a long wire, granted, but still. There's other ways to do it, in my opinion, or you could try, I mean, I think streaming wirelessly is fast becoming a bigger and bigger thing. Obviously, it doesn't work everywhere, like I'd never be able to do it because I can't get that kind of connection. But Sony, at least, are definitely hoping that constant streaming technology is is the way of the future. I don't know if it is, but no, that's my thoughts on Steam, Steam machines, and let me just double check here. Didn't get any other ones apart from that, and bum hats from CR, which is wonderful. Thank you for the contribution there, CR. Yeah, so I think that's going to wrap things up here as I scratch my head and itch my back for some reason. I think I covered the things I wanted to cover, just the, the progression of videos as we approach the end of January and the Saturday special short videos for patrons. And the reason I'm deliberately posting them at the point at which the Steam Nights go live is because the Steam Nights are for everybody, right? So even if you don't get access to a 10 minute video because you're not a patron, you're still getting something for free because you could be at the Steam Night. And keep in mind, as I always say, oh, as someone signs into my Steam and I remember, I forget to turn it off. If you are, don't have access to the game that we're playing on any given Saturday night for the, the Steam get together, like for example, if you didn't have Monster Hunter, you can still turn up and chat. There's plenty of people who don't have the specific game we're playing or just aren't interested. Like if we do TF2, not everybody wants to play TF2, but they'll still come and hang out in the chat and you can just chat about whatever you like, really. It's just a an opportunity to be semi-sociable on an, in an online presence type way um, and they're fun they're a lot of fun so yeah I think that's going to wrap up this let's chat I wanted to have some like funny footage of my dog or something to put at the end here unfortunately I don't have any maybe I should try and get that for next time because you know I like putting in random bits of footage that I've captured with like my camera and stuff into these just just to catch people by surprise but no don't bother clicking back to the window if you've clicked off I, I genuinely don't have any at this point I tried to get some footage of her at New Year when the fireworks were going off, but it was too dark, unfortunately. I wanted to show how much of a coward she is on New Year's Eve. Or, well, New Year's Day, I should say. Whatever. The point at which it becomes New Year Day. Yeah, so thank you as always for listening. I'm going to wrap up here. I've got to go do some recording and then ease my voice for tonight's heavy recording of Monster Hunter. Stay tuned. Have fun with everything I do. I hope you do anyway. Uh, I have no idea what I just said there. That didn't make much sense. Have fun with everything I do. Oh, I'd, I'd like to think you have some fun or, in, or are entertained at least. Either way, I'm going to go now. Got stuff to do. Got things to arrange for tonight and more stuff to come. This is my Monday vlog. Every Monday. Without fail. I probably shouldn't say that. Either way, ta-da for now everybody. Thanks for listening.